We're now going to look at reading pictograms. So here's an example of a pictogram. A pictogram is where you've got a symbol representing a certain frequency or a certain number. So in this case, the key shows you that each pizza, a whole pizza picture, represents four pizzas eaten. So here's got Alan, and he's got one pizza, so that would be four. And then he's got half a pizza. Well, if one pizza is four, well, half a pizza then would be two. So that means altogether he's eaten six pizzas. Bob has got two whole pizzas, so he's got four and four. He's then got a quarter of a pizza. Well, if a whole pizza is four, a quarter of one would be one. So altogether, he's eaten nine pizzas. Chris has eaten four, eight, twelve, sixteen. And then he's eaten three quarters of a pizza, so that's one, two, three. So that means that he's eaten sixteen, nineteen pizzas. And Dave has got one symbol, so he's got four pizzas that he's eaten. Typical type of questions that you will have is they'll give you um, a pictogram and ask you to complete it. So they'll uh, leave one of the sections blank, perhaps Dave's, and say, Dave at uh, eight pizzas, complete Dave's section. Uh, they may ask you um, who's eaten the most pizzas. Well, in this case, it would be Chris. Uh, they might ask you what's the range in the number of pizzas eaten. So the largest was 19, the smallest was 4. The range, remember, you would subtract those from each or subtract the 4 from the 19, so you'd have 15 being the range. There's lots of questions they'll have based around reading pictograms, but fundamentally, all you need to do is look at the key and see what the key represents. And then, if, for instance, it's half a symbol, well, that would be half of what um, each symbol represents. If there's a quarter of a symbol, it'd be a quarter of what they represent. So, in this case, half of it would be 2, a quarter of it would be 1. And if there's three quarters, well, that would be three. And then it's just uh, seeing how many you've got in each section.